Okay, so time to process the photos. So let's go to develop, develop. I mean, this is not a um, Lightroom tutorial. It's just to show you what my workflow is and my process. But you can find tons of tutorials about Lightroom on, on YouTube. So um, first thing I do usually is to flip the the photo horizontally to see if it's working uh, i bind a shortcut so i can do it easily but in this case it's still working sometimes sometimes you you see that when you flip it it's completely wrong so i instantly delete it but in this case it's it's good and i actually prefer I actually prefer this side. So then I I click here for the crop and straighten tool. Uh, I straighten it a little bit and then I choose the Y85 ratio. And you can see you have some uh, guides, composition guides. You have lots of them. So depending on what the photo is, um, you can just switch and and you can also flip them if needed like you can cycle them uh, but in this case I'm gonna keep the thirds I'm gonna put the guy roughly in one of the focus point um, I, I will keep uh, that's my shortcut oh yeah okay i will keep some space here in here i don't want to be too close like that so i want to keep some space um and on this side i think it's fine enter um, then I flip it I'm constantly like painting it's the same um, so I have a preset I made for my previous um, photos in in Madrid where I changed lots of settings uh, so I'm gonna try to apply it to my new Photos. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but we never know. So the white balance is not good, obviously. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna start from from scratch because the lighting is different. It's good to use the preset on on the images that have the same lighting and the same temperature but uh, in this case the the sky was overcast so almost no shadows very dark and and in in the new photos it was a bright blue sky and um, and a bright light so i'm gonna start from scratch so what I used to do is to reduce the highlights and by the way I'm shooting my photos in RAW file so the way you see it here it's not how it looked when I took it but uh, it contained lots of information about colors and, and, and values so I, I have lots of um, range to you see to bring back the um, the the highlights or the shadows so uh, let's uh, reduce the exposure keep it like that uh, now my shadows uh, here they are too too dark so i'm gonna bring back some Some 
higher values. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, good thing with the um, the curve also you can you can see how more precise you can be but in this case it creates too much contrast here the colors are not good and the, um, the blacks are just too black so let's keep it clean maybe increase that exposure uh, you can I check also different temperature um, but I think the one that the camera took was good enough uh, I can also sample like a white uh, value on the photo to to try different things but I think something cooler is good yeah the original is a little bit too purple so I'm gonna take this one um, what else I think the the, um, the snow is maybe a bit too dark so I don't do that too often but I'm gonna just create um, a mask here to just pump up the the value of the of the snow so let's do that uh, So the red is the the area where the mask will be turned on. Okay, and since I, I checked auto mask, it's avoiding the values that are too too different. So now I remove a bit. Oops, I pressed F. Click again. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's okay if uh, if it bleeds a bit, and then with the exposure, you can you see. But it needs to be really subtle. So I'm gonna reduce the highlight to reduce the contrast. And then you have a before after. I can also maybe reduce, like if I show you the mask, maybe reduce a little bit in the foreground to not have something completely flat. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Uh, sometimes what I used to do also to create more depth is to use a linear gradient like that. And and da -da 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 -da, and like reducing a bit the exposure to create a kind of dark gradient coming from the camera it creates a bit more depth yeah okay uh, what else I mean sometimes I tweak a little bit the colors uh, in this case I, I don't have any any good uh, uh, things to change but if I wanted to change a bit the that green here I could 
but I, I don't want to to change too much the photos I, I take okay um, then I don't use the color grading because it gives um, a kind of I don't know I, I kind of like naturalistic uh, photos with naturalistic colors so I, I tend to not use the, the color grading but in the calibration uh, part like here uh, you can shift some colors and uh, sometimes it can create some some nice effect like this obviously the blue is just too intense I mean it's really subtle it's, it depends I guess on your eye and your sensibility um, what else at the end sometimes I go to check some some um, pre profile so let's check the good thing with that is that you can um, for example if you like uh, this one you have like an amount uh, option so you can fade uh, a bit the effect so let's check what's uh, modern modern is usually very very contrasting so I tend to not use that that much uh, vintage that's cool uh, what else I also downloaded some some profiles but uh, I don't use them that much the good thing is that since the lighting didn't change that much between the first and the last photos I would be able to reuse the settings I just made I like kind of those because it it uh, it shifts a bit the shadows so they are not that dark like uh. Okay. Uh, usually, I I I I lower a bit the vibrance settings, but in this case, with the snow and the gray building, I'm gonna increase it a bit. And let's try something a bit bold. So I created a, a radial filter and I will um, increase the, w the temperature to make it warmer. And increase the highlight. Yeah, to have a kind of contrast between the top and the bottom okay um sometimes also i i add a bit of vignetting uh to to give a more intimate uh, feeling but it needs also to be very subtle like without with and it's still too high and I think that's all. Uh, sometimes also I use the transform 
uh, panel to just correct a bit the perspective and the, the distortions from the lens so you see everything is slightly more vertical and that's good it's the first pass usually i do a pass on everything and then i go back to the first one and i check again so let's copy the settings uh, and let's go to the next one uh, so i'm pasting my settings in this case In this case, I really want to to increase the contrast in this zone. So let's change the ratio. I mean, I was not sure when I, I, I pick, picked that photos and I'm still not sure if it's working or not. But um, let's see what we can do. What can I do? I don't think the the um, vignetting is helping. Uh, maybe I don't know. Let's let's uh, move on. So I'm pacing the the settings. So it's flattened a bit too much, like the values between the shadows uh, and, and the light is just maybe a bit too similar. So let's uh, let's try to change that. I mean, lots of people uh, look a lot at the histogram. I personally don't care a little bit um, because sometimes having um, a, almost a white value looks good. So I don't use that much, but it can be useful to see um, what are the values you need to, to change. Uh, okay, so let's reduce it. Uh, let's crop it. I kind of like like this the warm and the cool here so i will keep it i could have uh, crop it like that but I, I want to keep that reflection from the from the building uh, tch -tch 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 -tch. Okay. Okay, let's copy the settings here. Um, 
let's change the ratio. Here I'm I'm looking for that point um, to check if I don't want to have that little square of bright light, so I'm gonna just put it there. Uh, I think that one works better. Uh, to increase the kind of light feeding, I'm going to just again create a mask. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to also use a range mask to not affect the, um, the shadows. I, I only want to affect that uh, bright area. Okay, so I'm reducing the contrast and increasing the and changing also the color temperature. But now I realize that the the shadows here are just too too dark. Okay, let's try also to do that trick of darkening the Yeah, I don't know. Let's check also to maybe change the a little bit the color. No. Okay. So I just slightly increase the saturation on those yellows. And I think it looked good. Next, okay, so this is kind of symmetrical, so flipping it will not help that much. So what I used to do is to fix the horizon, change the cropping factor. I want to remove that trash, so I'm gonna just crease it this way. Um, then, then do I want to expose on the shadows, on the light? So in this case, obviously, it's exposing the light, the highlight. But I don't want to lose too much, like, I don't want that, so... Uh, since I have a big uh, area, I'm going to do that trick of darkening the foreground. A little bit. It's very subtle, but I don't know. It creates slightly more depth. Uh, what can I do? Uh, applying a profile. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, kind of like this. I don't know what else I can do. I'm not really happy with this one. Maybe I can make it a bit closer. No. So 
So then if I move it this way, I'm going to use that line to create a bit of a uh, Uh, line to to guide the eyes sorry um, yeah I don't know sometimes also when I'm not too sure I create a virtual copy and I'm testing different uh, options. Then I can then I can pick the one I want. Like also with the um, L keyboard, you can darken the UI. If you press it twice, it's completely black. So sometimes it helps to just focus on the on your values and you still have access to the to the parameters I don't know it's a first pass so so let's see so I'm gonna copy the parameters from that one Okay, then let's crop. Okay, let's darken slightly the foreground. What else can I do? Um, that's all same here I, I think it's gonna work better on this one so again same thing and if I put him in the lower right third uh, I will get a kind of lonely feeling and he's uh, uh, turning back to the light so I don't know it's kind of cool but I think yeah I think the shadows are just too bright I don't know if it, I mean if this part will help because I'm doing lots of tiny very very subtle uh, changes but I don't know somehow it can help one or two people okay let's copy the settings paste it here I don't know why my computer is super slow I guess it's because I'm I'm uh, recording so let's try different things Uh, 
Du, du. I don't know. Let's move on. This one I was closer to the ground. So it might work slightly better. Okay, so I, I'm I'm testing if I if I want to keep this light pole or not in the frame. Uh, or am I? What am I doing? Uh, da, 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 da. So I think I want to keep it. because then nothing is stopping kind of the eye here it's like going away while maybe if i keep it and i, I keep a bit of of that tree then like with this strong line maybe i'm gonna be able to whoop, get back to this guy so I kind of like this. Uh, I'm not sure about this thing because if so, maybe I can move it. Yeah, let's move it up. Okay. Um, now I want to see that guy a bit more. So again, like radio filter with um, a luminance range mask uh, and in this case I want to uh, I want to affect only the highlights I mean the high values then I increase the exposure a bit it's very subtle but then you can see the guy a bit better uh, cool I kind of like this one so let's add that gradient on the ground Yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, let's copy it. Same, I'm gonna paste it, but yeah, no, it's not working. So again, uh, cropping level. I I I wish I had a long lens <laughs> for that shot, but. Um, I think I used the uh, 32 millimeters on the camera, so next time. So, I mean, you can put her in the uh, um, in the third on the top, or if you want to make him make her kind of small in the in the environment then you put her in the lower part of the frame uh, da, da, da. so I, I don't want to crop and have this kind of very noisy detail either I want to make it breathe a bit or to not have it at all and I think this is working better because otherwise with the blue it it add one more color like you have that blue that kind of beige uh, color and the green from the tree and without the sky 
I don't know, it kind of have an harmony of the colors, something really simple that I like. Uh, yeah. Now let's, the shadows are just too, too black. So I'm gonna apply a profile that reduces the contrast. Then I'm gonna increase slightly the contrast to have more and then and then increase a bit the shadows. Okay. I think I think that's good. Next. Oh wait, the the white balance. Nope, that is too green. And what if I pick the snow? Hmm, tricky. What can I pick? Yeah, let's keep it like that for now. Uh, I kind of, yeah, this one I kind of liked it, so straighten ratio. So yeah, the, the shadows are just too dark. Okay. Um. I'm checking if I want to have this bit of snow in the top or not. Maybe I want a bit more. Yeah, I think it's cool. Uh, I'm gonna check if I can darken a bit the background behind her. I mean, I know there is atmosphere between her and the background, but um, Yeah, now she's more easy to read. Cool. Move on. Uh, this is going to look, I guess, pretty flat. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna use the guided uh, tool. So I create the, I mean, I, def I define the horizontal and vertical axis and it's gonna distort um, the frame in consequence. Let's say this and this. So see before, after, everything is feels more straight. Uh, then, then I don't really like that space here between the column and the 
border of the frame so let's move it cool and the policeman so uh, I don't think there is too many too much work to do on this one I'm gonna apply the same profile and that's all maybe change the white balance so let's copy that with the even the crop and paste it here I think it's too purple somehow so obviously since the camera was lower to the ground the guides are just wrong so let's do it again Okay. Cool. So now uh sometimes but very very uh few times I remove stuff from the photo so in this case this it's attracting a bit too much attention and yeah that's all I think yeah I think this one is better yeah so let's delete forever that one then let's maybe copy What can I copy? This to the murder of the snowman. I mean, this one I won't spend that much time on it it's just a funny a funny photo yeah I think that's enough okay nothing to change maybe I, I can slightly increase the saturation on the on the blood I mean the blood Pff, I have I have no clue what it is but and the luminance a bit yeah but I think this one is yeah this one is better so let's send this one to the trash I have a uh, little faith for that one too usually I take I don't know let's say in this case 140 photos and I keep 50 and then I remove in that process half of it so at the end uh, I have 10 to 20 in my eyes good photos so don't be afraid to just delete the bad ones uh, okay profile the same 
increase a bit the contrast reducing the highlight in this case I would love to reduce the um, value of the shadows on the ground but not here so let's not do that maybe with the curve I can choose yeah Okay. Like that. Um Yeah, sometimes also especially with this weather condition with the snow, I can use the dehaze uh feature to kind of fake a, a fog or like an atmosphere. So uh, it um, it increased the value of the shadows a little bit. Okay, then let's do that. And let's try to pump up that red in the um, in the pen so okay like before after it creates that weird uh, fringe so instead of luminance I picked color and I choose the red from the from the the pants so so I don't have this problem okay yeah before after And maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe I can increase the value behind her. So this kind of extreme changes, but I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. Cool. Then I'm gonna copy this. Paste it on that one, but actually, now it lacks a bit of contrast. So, and I wanted to frame that one kind of like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. So. Okay, I want to avoid the tangent with the um, this thing, but I want to keep it so. Okay. Yeah, I think it's cool. Okay, almost done. Uh, yeah, this I wanted to. So you see that the first thing I do is to refrain. Um, to 
to have roughly what I want. In this case, I'm going to just reduce the exposure, add vignetting. Okay. Uh, change the white balance. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I kind of like the idea, but not the execution. <laughs> Maybe change also the U. U. To have something slightly more pop. Okay. Uh, maybe increase the saturation on the sky, but then. Uh, So now I'm focusing on the um, the the leaves here. So yeah, uh, as I was saying, I'm focusing more on the on the leaves right now by changing the the calibration, and I'm not. Um, worried about the color of the of the coat of the guy because I can change it quite easily. Okay, so let's go back to the that color. Okay. Is it good? I don't know, but at least uh, it's something. Whoops. Okay. Let's check if this is helping. Nah. It's okay. Let's just do a quick pass. Like that. Can I change the color temperature? Yeah. And last one. Yeah, again, I have little faith in in that one too.
Okay, contrast. Yeah, kind of. It's doing something. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to the first one. I think the video is pretty long already. Uh, okay. What if I turn it to black and white? No, I want to keep the colors, of course. Maybe I want to get closer to him. And what if I do that? Yeah, I kind of like that. Cool. One. Uh, pff, no, this one I don't like it. Let's delete. Um, yeah, this is better than this. But yeah, I don't know. It's lots of contrast. Can I? So again, with the dehaze, I reduce the contrast a little bit. And I kind of like this. So let's move on. Uh, poof, no. Let's keep that one and remove the copy. Now, what is better? So I don't like this one. I think this one is good, but I want to to increase the contrast uh, around his silhouette. So. Okay. I mean, with a tablet, it's better, of course, but I don't have one now. Yeah. I mean, now you know it, you notice it, but if you, if you didn't know about that, then you will never notice that I changed that and then we see his silhouette way better so I think I'm gonna go keep this one remove those yeah remove that one uh, this is okay it's not great but 
it's working can I reduce the contrast a bit no so let's keep it um, let's keep that one too this one also the murder of course we keep it this one I'm not sure yeah I prefer this so did it keep that one uh, pff, maybe this one is working better in black and white I think I don't know what if I change well let's keep it I like the idea this is nice too maybe I can slightly increase no, the saturation on his scarf. And then his face. Okay, and the last one. Nope. Cool. and last final check before I export everything I like this I like this this way uh, I don't really like that Well, let's keep it this is I think not it lack a bit of contrast but I'm gonna I'm gonna increase a bit the haze and increase the contrast yeah cool Uh, this I'm going to increase the vibrance or at least maybe just the blues the, the, the greens sorry because it looks a bit too monochromatic uh, this is good enough can I change that green make it slightly warmer yeah cool uh, this is good enough this is cool this I'm gonna do the same thing like increasing the saturation of the green and make it slightly warmer to 
contrast with the cool in the snow. Uh, uh, this uh, we talked about it and that's it okay so i mean and then i just export everything uh, and that's all so i hope it helped some of you maybe um, maybe you learn some tips um, lightroom is really powerful and again uh, grading your photos is I mean it's different for everyone so this is just my my way and my point of view on it so don't take this for truth uh, it's just something I learn on the way along the way uh, and yeah so again I hope it helped and uh, if you have any question just uh, feel free to ask me or send me messages in social medias <laughs>